Hey guys, welcome back to Branch House Outdoors. So if you watched the last video, I said I was going to do a knife review this week, but I never got around to it. Well, I did it, but I didn't really like it. I didn't like the finished product. This is the knife I did it on. As you can see, there's some ferro rod marks on it. Uh, I did it on the Gerber Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife. Uh... I'm going to try and get out as long as it's not raining too bad this week and redo it. I was in Napanee. I wasn't uh, really comfortable in my own yard, you know. And it was windy. So long story short, yeah, I, I got to redo this. But I was in Belleville today and I stopped at the local Dollarama. Yeah, that's right, another Dollarama. It's part two in the series. So I'm going to... Bring us down to the table and refresh us on what we got last time at the Dollar Armor. Okay. Okay, so last time we got these plastex baits that smell exactly like black licorice. We got a drop shot, drop shot kit, some jig heads, you know, yeah. And I picked these up also. I didn't record this one. Uh, a couple swim baits. I got a green, black, and orange, and like a shad color. I think they were like $2 a piece today. Let's see what I picked up today. So... This is uh, the Dollarama by the Walmart in Belleville, Ontario. If you've ever been there. If not, well, I picked up some drop shot hooks, too hot. Because there's only, what, one drop shot hook there? I came with the drop shot kit. So I got a uh, 25 more. And that's all they look like. Just a little two watt hook. 25 of them. They're made by Matuzu America. You get 25 for, I think I paid a dollar fifty for them. Yeah, and they're pretty sturdy hooks, too. Uh, I also picked up this lipless crank. It was three dollars. It's Kaz Kazumi Fishing Lures. It's, uh... Got nice weight to it. And it's got like the red and the silver. I figured that's gonna do well here in the spring right shortly. Nice rattle. And for three bucks it's it feels like it's nicely made. I'm not sure on the hooks, but they are sharp. But yeah, there's a a lipless crank for the dollar store kit and I picked up a frog by Mako or Mako two point five inch froggy it's gotta be with the feet on it it's gotta be Uh, it's nice and soft. The hooks seem pretty sharp. I might do all right. But it was uh, like three, three fifty for this. 
This ain't too bad for a frog, I think. I don't know. I'm not much of a frog fisherman, per se. Let's just say I'm not too great at the top of water stuff. But yeah. So there's just three more baits I picked up today. I figured I'd share this since I really didn't get a, a knife one done. Let me lift the camera back up. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't get the, I got the knife one down. I didn't like it. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo it. So I figured, why not? I'm gonna be out of town anyway. There's no dollar store in my town. There's, well, there's parkies down the road, but that's not really a dollar store. Uh, I figured I'm gonna be out of town. There's another Dollarama. Why not stop? See what they got. And I found frogs, a lipless crank, and some drop shot hooks. Not a lot, but every little bit counts with the dollar store kit, right? So, probably do two or three more sessions in this series until I think that we can go out with a whole day and just fish what we have. Like, I want to get more plastics. Uh, they had... If I remember, they had some new ones coming in in Napanee. Well, I'll have to talk to a friend of mine again. But, that's it for this episode. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Be in the know when I put up new content. Say something in the comments for me, people. Please? Oh, share this with your friends. Yeah. Remember, I'm local. Northbrook, Ontario. From the, originally from the, you know, town of Napanee. I miss it. See you next time on Bradshaw's Outdoors.